and then I should go make sure it's, you know, streaming on Twitch. And I suppose I should share it with people. I should definitely share it with the, uh, oh. And it's funny because I'll even be fine with the, the picture that I see coming from the video. But if I see it on Twitch, I'm like, who is that hideous woman? <laughs> and it's it doesn't make any sense. It's the same exact thing, but it's different. <laughs> Promote your stuff. Everybody, where? why am I not showing the stream as being live? There we are. No, I, I'm showing. I just have a commercial. <laughs> yeah. It was playing like other shit for me. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, I know it looks you. really weird right now, but that's because I'm in Discord doing promotions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even occur to me to get like wine or something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know when our next uh, drinking stream will be. I think the last one we did was for a holiday. Was it? Was it a Christmas? It wasn't a Christmas stream because we had Mrs. Claus on. Oh, I don't think I've done a drinking one with you guys. Yeah, we made that one kid friendly. Yeah, I feel like we've done. I've done a drinking stream with Glitter Dice Geek Girls. With Geek Girls, I remember because I had I made myself a drink. Mm -hmm. I definitely did one with Glitter Dice because that was our like. Well, yeah. We did Halloween was it with the uh, brewing episode. the brewing ladies? Maybe it might have been. That would make too much sense to <laughs> just drink then. You know. <laughs> I pretty much I almost. Always have a drink when I'm doing part-time gamers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are live. I shilled us to <laughs> ANTP, Frog Pants, and Diamond Club. So I'm going to push the button. Unfortunately, Monica will miss our nifty theme song by Mike TV. <laughs> <laughs> you can always listen to it on our stream. And then I will start, oh, yeah. I'll start talking, and then you'll know. We got perspective, we got the cool, we got the muscle, and you know we have the rule. We are the geek grills, we are the geek grills, alright. We got the know how, we got control, we got the knowledge, and we tell you how it rolls. We are the geek grills, we are the geek grills, alright. We are the geek grills, we are the geek grills, tonight. Hello and welcome to episode 242, ooh, like front 242, <laughs> of Geek Grills. <laughs> the Geek Grills podcast is supported primarily by our patrons. Please go today to patreon.com slash grills. I'm September, also known as 9 of 12, and I'm joined by my co-hosts, Linda. Hello. And Ray. Hello. And today we have a very special guest. Uh, Monica, also known as Wicked Kitten 13. She's a podcaster, sporadic streamer, and a cat wrangler. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. Of course. We're so glad to have you here. More women, the better in this arena. Yeah. So, what like have it. you been up to this geeky week, Grills? Let's start with Linda. Uh, well, we did our Aeon game for uh Aeon Trinity. So we got to be do our space exploration psychic powers fun time. Uh <laughs> I find it hilarious that I am like the quote unquote scribe of the game, but only because I write down random quotes. I don't really keep <laughs> up with what's actually going on. It's just like random quotes <laughs> of what happened like they were like, what happened last time? And I opened my book. Oh no, the goo. Does anybody remember what that means? <laughs> That's because Katie's been the one to, to actually scribe it all, because she's the very survivalist. So. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> but that was, that was a lot of fun. We got to hang out and just 
chill out on Friday night because we were supposed to have Tuesday, but then um, our friend who Katie, who is gaming with us, uh, works at our local comic book store, and they're getting ready to go to Dragon Con, so they're having to do inventory. So we pushed it back to Friday, hoping that she'd be available. But she is the trooper of of the edge. She couldn't come, so <laughs> she's stuck doing inventory for Dragon Con. I was just like, "We love you." <laughs> <laughs> um, I spent Saturday with my mom, um, cause she, I didn't get to see her. I haven't seen her since like early mid July, so. Um, we had lunch, we went thrifting, um, and then she helped me dye my hair. Uh, for those who are actually watching the stream, it's much lighter than it was last week. Um, almost, almost platinum. I am debating whether or not I want to do another round. Um, it's a little patchy on the bottom, so I may go and get another box and just kind of like even it out. Uh, but if I need to cosplay Galadriel, I'm set. I don't, need, I don't need a wig. Or Sarah Sanderson. Just need to put a little mole right there and I can amuck with the best of them. Uh, we do have those costumes for. We do still have those costumes. Um, I had a market day. Ray helped me with that. Um, it was threatening kind of to rain a little bit, so it was light attendance, but it turned out to be a really, really pretty day, so... I wasn't, like, dying of heat, which was nice, because it's outside. Uh, and then Ray is a genius and came up with an idea, because she was looking up my, my mushroom purses, and she was like, you know, you can make, like, cupcake purses. <laughs> just look it, it took me, like, down. a full minute to, like, process that, and I was just like, genius! So I have made a cupcake purse. I put so little good. pearls. Oh. Little so pearls on it for like. Sprinkles. Sprinkles. I don't know if I should put more pearls or not, but right now this is how many I've got. So. Cute. That looks awesome. Cupcake purse. <laughs> <laughs> how about you, Ray? Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> A lot of my stuff has been catching up on TV with my husband. Uh, <laughs> so watch the new Sandman. They dropped two more episodes. So uh, which so is good. the uh, the cat story, uh, which is very good, but there if you are sensitive to um, animal <laughs> death. Uh, it's off screen, but it it is a it is a thing. So I I do know some people who actually can't watch that episode, even though I think they'd love it. And then the Calliope episode, um, because these are short story like one just short stories in the comic. So I'm really excited because that gives me hope that if we get a season two, maybe we can get some of the others. And is it Dream Hunter? There, there's one that that um, Ano illustrated for uh, with the kitsune and it's in Japan and of course it's a giant weave it's one of my favorites so that and when they go searching for destruction uh, <laughs> right <laughs> like there's it's dream hunters there's Ramadan was a standalone and Midsummer Night's Dream yes. and yeah yeah ah <laughs> uh, um, and then I binged all of the League of Their Own series because Amazon is kind and just drops it all at once so uh, it was great if you liked League of Their Own but wanted it gayer, this is the show for you. I <laughs> highly recommend. Um, also, it, it's not just a retelling because they do have a separate story about Max. And honestly, like that was the more compelling one for me. Like I wanted to, I binged it because I wanted to know like what's going to happen with Max. Is Max going to be able to join the team? Are they going to integrate the team? Is it going to... I was, uh, and then I'm like, oh, wait, but it's the 19th. 40, so no, but <sighs> it, it's very good just to see like how those stories come together and how they continue on. It, it's highly recommended. Um, what we do in the shadows caught up Harley Quinn, new episode, She Hulk, first episode. Definitely enjoy it. I want to see where it goes. Um, 
I am definitely interested in it, though. It is on the radar. And then literally today was House of the Dragon, which is the Game of Thrones prequel about the Targaryens that dropped on HBO Max. Uh, and that I did like. Like I'm very excited to see what they hmm. do with uh, just free reign, basically. With like very like uh, at some point I think there's like a family tree that they have to like abide by, but that's it. Everything else can be very easily woven however they want. So uh, play Trinity, which the sci-fi game, uh, and played Aberrant, which is my weird superheroes but not game uh, I felt really bad we're supposed to be kind of more world building and I made a beat stick character that I nicknamed Meat Planet because literally she has <laughs> she, do, you, she doesn't have skin so you can see all the muscle and fat and sinew underneath she's kind of gross and I love her because of it oh you didn't uh, use the name I suggested like... <laughs> Abby, Abby Farr be... I thought that was a good name <laughs> but huh. she's basically here just to be angry and, and just take it out on everybody and I, I was still watching A League of Their Own so I wasn't angry I was actually like really invested and I only had two episodes left to go and I had to stop for the game and I'm like this is not the right headspace at all for this character <laughs> uh, and then the only other thing was I'm back on my Pokemon Go in a vague attempt to try and make myself go outside for required sunlight piss 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 uh, <laughs> and they I think they have one more up day left uh, for their current event that's like a worldwide thing or basically you go to a poker stop and instead of having like a random team rocket person it's somebody who from a previous uh, Pokemon Go game and you have to beat them and and I think it's like the max, most you can do is beat five, and then you get a chance to catch a, a special dapper looking Pikachu. That's, that's the reward. Okay. Uh, that's it for me. I, I knocked it out after the craft fair on Sunday, so hooray! Hooray! <laughs> and how about you, Monica? What have you been up to? Well, um, well, I played through um, the game Stray, which we call the kitty game, Yay. basically. And I see I see a cat in your background. Yes. I've been oh, following it. Cats. <laughs> we are cat people. <laughs> and I am also a wicked kitten. But uh just such a fun game and strange world and just very satisfying. Also played through the quarry, uh, which is a horror game, which if you like horror, it's got a lot of um a lot of the voices are people well known within that, uh, you know, that genre in the movies and whatnot. So it's uh, it's got some great little um, what do you call them? Easter eggs. Yeah, stuff like that. Basically, like if you don't, if you know, you know, kind of. Yeah. Um. As well as continued my addiction to Hearthstone, <laughs> because a new expansion came out, so I've been playing the hell out of that. Um, I rewatched through all the Hellraiser movies for one of my podcasts. Uh, yeah. So in, you were talking about the <laughs> the character without any skin. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's basically <laughs> the movies that I've been watching, which is interesting. Um, and <laughs> I actually just saw that they they were announcing a Hellraiser series. Oh yeah, yeah. It's quite interesting. Um, I think they're supposed to be because in the book there's like a more there's a more dominant like female character. So I'm kind of interested to see what they do in the show because I think they're kind of gonna do a little bit closer to the book. So I guess we'll see what happens. Um, also watch the League of Their Own series. I have one episode left. I freaking oh, love it. I freaking <laughs> love it so much. Like it is, as you said, gay as heck. And it's wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Yes. I wish I had shows like this when I was growing up, you know? Seriously. Like... <laughs> Scott was so funny talking about it this morning. <laughs> or was it yesterday? I don't know. He was just like, Oh, I was watching that League of Your Own. It's just 
way more lesbian than last time. It's great. <laughs> it's like, okay. Oh, Scott. <laughs> My husband said the same thing. He came out like midway through because I was like, do you want to watch it with me? He's like, uh, I don't know. I didn't really like like um the that pirate show that I thought I would. Uh, I don't know. And he like midway through, he comes out and he sits down and he's like, this is so much gayer than I thought it would be. I'm like, you just missed the Rosie O'Donnell episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So like, yeah, I, I can't wait to see what happens in the last episode, but like, I just watched the, yeah, the Max storyline is just so great. Cool. Um, yeah. I might have to check that out. I, I, I wasn't, I think I only like last year even saw the movie, so <laughs> I don't have a lot invested yeah. there. So let me see. Uh, She-Hulk, Sandman, uh, I think we might want to talk about them as shows because um, <laughs> there's a lot to unpack. I, I love what they did with Calliope, which is kind of my favorite story ever. And She-Hulk, I like the management of, of course women handle anger better. We have to all the time. And like they just stop shy, just shy of, we're riding the dragon. You have no idea <laughs> like what we deal with for decades. Of course we handle anger better. But anyway... Um, I got some early birthday presents, which is exciting because my birthday is September 6th, but spooky season is already here at TJ Maxx, and I got the best mixing bowl. It's like Jack and Sally in stripes, and it's got Jack and Sally on one side, and the other side, it's got them up on the uh, walking up the hill in the moonlight, and it's got a spout on it. It is gorgeous. I am so in love with it, and a three-quart um, porcelain-coated cast iron Dutch oven that has a spider web lid <laughs> with spiders Aww. and I just I restrained myself from the Dutch oven last week and my husband and I went over and he found the last one and then that mixing bowl that that just that had to happen as a matter of fact my sister went to her Marshalls and TJ Maxx looking today and got herself one <laughs> um <laughs> Event planning mm -hmm. for the TMS Asheville meetup has been coming along swimmingly. I am super excited for this, uh, September 9th and 10th. And actually, I needed to ask Monica, if you want us to, if you want to make a different channel for, like, when the event's going on so we don't completely blow up uh, the other meetups channel you have yeah. kindly provided for us, I think we... <laughs> We overtook yeah. it because we do have like more than twenty people, um, coming to this, uh, and it's just, it it's just worked out so so well. Um, we're staying in the mansion. We've got this big brunch planned with me and Chuck, who is a chef, and uh, the menus coming mm. together, the schedules coming together. Uh, Brian Ibbett has sent us a bunch of swag, and Scott is supposed to. I'm waiting to get it to be <laughs> commit to giving everyone swag <laughs> bags, uh, mm -hmm. knowing Mr. Johnson, but it, it just, it's falling into place and I'm so excited. Uh, I upcycled a dress, which I was really proud because we did that sustainable fashion episode recently mm -hmm. and <coughs> excuse me, I had talked about taking the dress I wore for my the shower for my son's wedding, dyeing it for the wedding. The dye job turned out not as I expected, but really cool. And mm -hmm. I want to commission this shawl from Linda, but then a friend of mine was like, ooh, ooh I have something that'll match. So <laughs> <laughs> it's all in on this uh, sustainable upcycling situation. And I made a pride shirt today for, well, I made it yesterday. I dropped it off today. A friend of mine who is a librarian is attending our brand new shiny Statesville Pride that's happening. And she said, oh, I wish I had a shirt that said, your li librarian loves you. I was like, I bet I can find some rainbow heat transfer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, made her that shirt, which has, I posted it and I wonder if people are going to start wanting them now. So it turned out really good. And it, made... it looks really good. Mm -hmm. I saw yeah. that. Yeah, it made people like, it, very it happy. It looks professional. Mm -hmm. It was a nightmare 
because I use Sizer <laughs> instead of Cricut HTV, and the directions are different. And I looked up the new directions, made sure I was doing it right, and did it wrong because they change like they have. I, I don't know. They it's a different kind. It's like Easy Print and then Easy Print Plus or something, and the directions drastically changed between the two, like whether you have to cut upside down or right side up, for instance, which is kind of a big deal when you're doing heat transfer, and whether you yeah. have to mirror or not. And um, so I did it. I wasted a whole $25 roll of heat transfer doing it wrong before <laughs> we decided to go with our instincts and not all these wrong instructions on the internet, even from the company. And I went ahead and dropped the money and just got another roll because I was determined that she would have this shirt of her dreams. <laughs> 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 so now we have it and we're doing it right. And I have enough to make like two more shirts if people do want them, which would be nice because it would be good to recover some of that cost. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't want to charge her. No. I just wanted her to have it. Ouch. Sorry, so, as you were talking, I stabbed myself with a needle, because when I'm sewing, I always have to stab myself with a needle at least once. Don't do that. <laughs> so it's lots fine. of red clothing? As long as I don't bleed on the cupcake, I'll be fine. <laughs> a little piece of you. Oh, and guys, I did give blood, and they're not testing for antibodies anymore. Ah, uh, mm. yeah, it seems to be, like, something they It comes do. and goes with need. Yeah, um, isn't that a bit of an oversight on their part? I, yeah, anyway. I mean, because if they <laughs> knew, then they could call me. Well, I mean, the the antibodies only last so long, I guess. So it's go go go. But I was like, well, mm. she said, well, you can get the test from your doctor. I said, well, yeah, but then if you don't want the plasma, then what would be the point That's of that? The point. So I yeah. went to try and get my booster, and uh, <laughs> there are also no more boosters approved. And I did not realize that. I thought we were on track to be able to get them every six months. That is not the case. After two, there are no more approved boosters for COVID. Sweet. Yeah. Like, we're having a surge right now. Can we, can we get some boosters, please? Let's mm -hmm. have to work on that. But I thought I would share that information. Okay. So, welcome, Monica. Hi. <laughs> I am really excited to have you. I, I feel like I we've been in the same communities for many years now, but I get to know you a lot better during ANTP. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you want to talk about what you do for everyone, all, all these online personalities. <laughs> uh, well, I like I said, I, I'm a cat wrangler. First and foremost, I basically, you know, I get the, uh, I try to get all the information to all the contestants. I want to make sure that they know what needs to happen or if I need to bug them to get the information from them. I am the bugger, <laughs> which I don't like to do, but, you know, somebody's got to do it and it's me. And how'd you get that? Like, how did, why did you tell people how that started? Because you were on ANTP. Yeah, I was on I was on season one, and uh, it was just Brian and Hammond um, doing the show, and I was like, "Hey, you know, if you ever need any help," which by the way, I say a lot to people, and most of the time, you know, people don't take you up; they're just like, "Oh, she seems nice," but like, <laughs> you know, I offer, I'm here, you know, whatever, and they were like, "Oh yeah, cool," and they they brought me on, and I started doing like behind the scenes mostly like taking care of the discord and things like that and as the seasons progress um because i've been working season two season three and now season four um i've my role has kind of grown i guess you know i do more stuff within the contestants and now i get to be part of the orientation now that we do that and uh i I do the credits at the end, so now I, I can claim voice work somewhere if I ever want, <laughs> you know? Like, hey, you can go listen to my reel. That's my good one thing I've done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, like, mostly I just kind of, like, try to sit there and, and learn as much as I can from from the, the other guys on the show and all the contestants that come in because we really do pick people who... um 
you know, they're just talented in their own right, you know? Um, How much input did you get in the actual selecting the because you and i had a talk early on of like oh my god there's only two women this season and and i don't know you know what applications look like because i'm not on that side of it but you obviously get to see and and share in the choosing this this season was the first time that i ever got to be in the kind of like voting which is basically what we did. We we all listened to everyone's submissions and we gave like a score and it was, you know, basically like that. So I won't divulge any like secret things, but No, no. <laughs> I don't yeah, expect that. Just, I I do wish there were you know, there were more women. But it's uh it just seems to be that way, you know? Maybe the season one, season two, season three, we had more than two, and I don't know. Maybe we need to reach out into different areas. That's what I've been trying to say, you know, because there's plenty of women podcasters. It's just where's our reach? It's within like the Frog Pants Diamond Club, and there's only so many. There's only so many women podcasters within that community itself. Yeah, so it's something that comes up here a lot because we kind of started when. There were a lot fewer podcasters than that were female than there are now, at least that had their own shows instead of just being appearances. And then even with streamers, it was a lot more of like what we call booby streamers. <laughs> and then we had a show a few years later like, oh, wow, okay, there's, there's a lot more now. We think this is going well. And then a few years after that. Like, all kinds of shit started hitting the fan of the internet. It's like, oh, it, it's actually not that much better for women in this arena right now. That it, and So we just want to keep keep making it better <laughs> and keep being the face. And yeah, I, I'm curious. Like, I want to f- – I think you're a, a person that we could find some solutions and form communities that make shows like ANTP – make it easier to find a place to reach out i mean how do you google that (laughs) (laughs) well you know it's just like every little every little branch that comes off right because you're a you know all female show and and so that's kind of um like people see that and they you know they'll attach themselves to your community and other women who want to do podcasting, right? So hopefully, like you grab someone, you mention A and T P and then they're like, oh, I should sign up for that next season or something. And slowly but surely, <laughs> somehow we build a giant circle of women to destroy all the men. I mean, to take over the world, of course. Yeah, yeah. Whoops, I said that wrong. Don't upset the patriarchy. You, <laughs> you said the quiet part out loud. uh smash the patriarchy um (laughs) that's you you'd like my heroes of the storm podcast we're all women and we just (laughs) we end the show by one of us saying smash the patriarchy basically (laughs) yeah perfect i think i'm gonna also keep go ahead oh uh there was a point back a couple of years ago when my husband was doing his podcast like full time where me Ray who is uh, and uh, our other friend who were all like wives slash girlfriends of them just took over the episode <laughs> like they oh, let yeah. us just kind of take over an episode and you're all like hey everybody they yeah they let us take over the episode <laughs> and then at the end <laughs> Murphy uh, our friend's name is Murphy. She was just like, eh, F the patriarchy. Okay, bye. And, like, <laughs> and they left it in. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was hilarious. I found some <laughs> younger streamers recently, and I definitely, as ANTP comes around in applications, I'm going to try to, you know, support them and spread the word. Because it is a really great experience, especially when you're you're new to it or whatever. Um, although, because you need more confusion, we we didn't have enough Sean's last season 
um, there's somebody who's nine of eight. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, but she found me in this weird, like, it was, she had a birthday and I guess all her friends were streaming and drinking and playing and somebody found nine of 12 and subscribed. Like they subbed to my, all, I, all of a sudden I got all these followers and I never stream. Like I stream here mm -hmm. and for part-time gamers, but nine of 12 doesn't get used. But all of a sudden I had all these subs and I, somebody gifted me a sub to her channel. <laughs> so when she came uh. online, I'm like, all right, I have to go see what the hell is going on. And I got there and was, oh my God, it's you. Like, and they had no idea who I was, but I was able to go in and I was like, oh yeah, I just came in second on ANTP. I interviewed Will Wheaton recently and they're just like, <gasps> and so then, they, then I was a superstar in their eyes and I just was, have to answer a million questions about streaming, about podcasting. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm going to have to bring all these young women along for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And they just thought it was definitely, funny. they were just picking on her. <laughs> <laughs> Although I look at, I look at a lot of the, a lot of the younger women and I'm just like, I did not have the confidence that they seem to have. When I was their age, mm -hmm. I was just, I didn't believe in myself and all that kind of stuff. So it took me a long time to get into podcasting and streaming. So like, it's nice to have somebody who's in it, doing it, kind of be there and guide and, and whatnot. And there's a lot of down, people are so down on, you know, screens and kids living their life online instead of real life or whatever. And to me, it is real life. I mean, I started meeting people online before the internet was a thing, and I think it definitely helped me gain social skills. And these streamers, a lot of these young women, they are meeting people of different types and cultures and presenting themselves. And if it takes a computer between you and the rest of the world to gain that confidence, that's a great set of social skills that's being developed not smashed yeah because <clears throat> when you do when i know for me personally when i first started out with the whole podcasting thing it did kind of feel like you were just shouting into the void <laughs> you were just like putting stuff out there and then uh because my mom listens to our podcast she gives me feedback so she's like I liked your episode, or I really thought that was interesting, or like the the sustainable fashion one. She was like, you you helped me with one of my classes because she's like she just finished her getting getting um her degree like online, like she just finished and she did she did stuff about fast fashion and how awful it is for like one of her like final blog post things that she had to do and she did that because we talked about it and i was just like oh <laughs> it's feedback. doing something <laughs> feedback is the best and if yes. anyone yeah. monica if you have the key how the hell do we get feedback how do any of these producers get the damn feedback like i miss reading emails um reading reviews online like we try to give our patrons names and it's just like you got hundreds of listeners sometimes we, like and ours ranges from like sometimes it's a couple hundred sometimes a couple thousand most of the time I don't look I can't it will make me crazy but <laughs> once a year somebody will drop a message people <laughs> we need to hear from you shouting into the void is scary <laughs> It is scary. <laughs> like, we think we're interesting, but, like, could you let us know we're doing all right? <laughs> yeah. We do the little email. <laughs> we do the little email bag. We're just like, hey, we didn't get any emails this week, but, um, you know, we like them, so you should send them. Like, I like to say something like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, please. Just so maybe, yeah, well, I never thought about sending an email before, but. Yeah, we, we <laughs> ask. Nobody answers. <laughs> I think we need to change our format so someone else is asking because we've been 
each having the same <laughs> scripted what we ask for and maybe just throwing a different voice at it will <laughs> jar somebody <laughs> into. Like the last time I got any feedback was um, one of the tadpoolers I ran into in Vegas. And he's like, can I have a sticker? Do you have new stickers? I'm like, I'm out of stickers. But my stickers were out. Because I gave him a sticker in 2017. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, how about if you're a, if you become a patron, <laughs> merch, which feels like an asshole mm -hmm. thing to do. I mean, I would have sent him one anyway, but <laughs> and he didn't even become he became a patron, but not at like the level where I normally send out swag. But I mean, he's been a fan that long. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah. Let us know, guys. Seriously. <laughs> we have stickers. The keychains are cool. And for the women out there, they're very pointy. Oh, good. Yep. I need stabbing yeah, merchandise. They're uh, triangular, yeah, very, they're triangular. Very. There's mine. They're stabby. The they're very stabby. It works very well uh, between your fingers, just like your keys. I, I also like how they're kind of like anti phallic or like reverse, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, we, we've got the whole reverse Triforce thing going or map of Tasmania, whatever. Um, <laughs> um, and yeah, my husband printed those. So he's like, well, aren't they like brittle because, you know, you 3D printed them? And he's like, nope. no, but if they are, they can break off in that asshole. <laughs> like, <laughs> There mm -hmm. you go. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Safety first, everybody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it is light enough, though, that it doesn't weigh down my keychain, unlike all my other keys. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the one light thing on there, right? It, it is. Yeah. It's the yeah. only light thing. Yeah. I got like a little <laughs> stuffed, uh, is it a monkey, I think? Or is it a kitty? I don't remember. It's pink. And it's like a little stuffed keychain. It's the only thing that's light on my keychain. Everything else is like way too heavy. Yeah. I'm probably gonna have to get a new starter, but you know. <laughs> yeah, like what is that? I I have the same thing. Like the Geek Girls one is light, but my I've got a little kitty that you push its button and it mews and it has laser eyes. And Aww. I've got a leather keychain, and then of course I've got to have a church key. So I've got like this big metal key but it also opens bottles handily enough <laughs> i mean they're tools i i keep tools yeah. on a keychain i really should just get a new leatherman but <laughs> well, that's a serious key utility key uh, it's good for popping open bottles and whatnot as well church key kind of <laughs> i've never heard this expression church key oh really i just thought you had the key to church for some oh. reason <laughs> Oh no. I'm like, <laughs> oh no, church key is a bottle opener. I I think I got that from my it's mom. For yeah, opening I was taste, told tasty it was beverages. Too. It's for opening tasty beverages. Ah. <laughs> so quote the Lutheran. <laughs> so quote the Lutheran. Well, I'm from <laughs> Buffalo Trust where me. they had to pass a law so that churches and bars couldn't be actually next to each other and at least on the next block. So it was definitely it's it's so Irish that they paint the parade route in a green wavy stripe <laughs> for the parade. <laughs> like, so it, it, there was there was no line that the church key was for alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> um. <coughs> so Monica, when you stream, what do you stream? Um geez. Are you streaming stream? I really <laughs> Actually I was streaming on one of my uh my co hosts channels um oh. i do a, i do a horror podcast and my one co-host we play uh horror games together on like wednesdays um but like i keep meaning to stream more but it's just been so it's been so busy uh life is busy i don't know how to describe that to you i i started the i started the horror podcast about a year it's almost a year now and it's my first, like, me doing the show, editing it, doing the whole being you, basically, right? On this show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Um, and I edit way too much still to this day. <laughs> so 
it, but it's like it's my little baby so i spend the most amount of my time on that and i end up not streaming as much as i should but when i do stream it's usually hearthstone or heroes of the storm yeah that's what i popped in on is you doing hearthstone even though i don't play hearthstone it was just kind of ha to hang out <laughs> I, I want to know more about this horror podcast. Are you just oh. going for like movies or just games or a little bit of both? Um. Well, I I really wanted to get into everything. I figured it would be mostly about movies, which it is. Um. But like my one friend, he reads a lot. Actually, they all read a lot. Uh, and I don't read at all, apparently. Anyway, but so you know, so sometimes we talk about the books, and sometimes if we watched a movie with the book, then we do that. But me and the one guy especially we play these games together so we played like you know the quarry and layers of fear and all these tiny little creepy creepy games which scare the absolute crap out of me and it's kind of like the the scott thing where i'm the one that screams a lot <laughs> and my friend doesn't so he plays the game while i scream into the microphone <laughs> um but yeah, and then we just we we'll discuss that on our weekly like what have we been doing kind of thing. What's it um, called? I have some friends that would definitely be interested. It's called Gore. <laughs> <laughs> it's affectionately named after Core. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Um, yeah, it's very I wanna, simple. I want to tune in and hear he like yelling like ridiculous shit like he does like shit potatoes oh. or. <laughs> or the one time, and you wouldn't do that. I remember watching him play a horror game, and he was just like, "Ah, ah, ah, oh, shit, do, do, do I need to get my dick out? Like, what, what? is happening? <laughs> what? Yes, well, he's he... me among us until the very end. There, <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's outrageous. I, I hope if I ever, I, mean... I don't. Get... I want. I don't, get... just, I don't know where he gets, like, yeah, I think it's some kind of, like, <laughs> I think it's because, like, <laughs> he's, like, for the most part, he doesn't swear, right? You know, like, he'll say shit and stuff, but he won't go, like, beyond that. But then, like, he'll say things like that or, you know, scream out Mark Knopfler's penis. Right. And it's like, why? What is going on I, I think it's, it is, like, Disney-itis. Like, I used to work at Disney, and you can't swear on stage, right? So you end up saying random, like, Jiminy Crickets, you know, yeah. in an angry yeah. way. And with his mostly not swearing, but he's gaming online, and he's used to talking constantly through the game with descriptions and reactions, and he's so scared of horror that it's like this horror Tourette's where... Random words <laughs> spit out that are only Look, sort of vulgar in strange <laughs> combinations. Yeah. Sometimes you can't like your brain just sometimes it doesn't process correctly. There, there was a point in one of the games we were playing. It was a LARP, so I'm in, I I am in the character, and it was a horror LARP. It was a horror survival LARP. I was hiding from a monster. Literally, I'm hiding from somebody playing a monster. It's my friend. I know who he is. I know who he is under the makeup, but I'm hiding literally behind a curtain, and he's coming step by step closer, and all my brain is doing is going, why? 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 <laughs> I blank completely on any words, except for that one. <laughs> so sometimes, your brain just is like, Blah, <laughs> and it has no control over what you say or do. <laughs> yeah, but so, yeah, but I feel like Scott, for the most part, has no control over what he says. Well, maybe not the most part, but like even sometimes during the show, he'll just randomly say something, and I'm like, "Whoa, did you just say that?" <laughs> yeah. It just has to I spill can't... out. I Wait, can't... dude, were you at the couch party like a couple weeks ago? <laughs> no, I missed. Mm -hmm. I only caught like. I, I couldn't get into the chat. I was one of those people because I didn't get in fast oh, enough. No. Oh no! Thanks. It's been much better the last few weeks, but like I don't know if I'd be able to predict because I I've streamed a horror game exactly once. I played um, Among the Sleep, which is you're playing a toddler going around essentially a haunted house, 
Whoa. Um, and all I remember doing is, like, when I would have to, like, crouch, I'd do this as I crouched. No, oh, hunching like, your my, shoulders, I, yeah. I would hunch. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I remember <laughs> just, like, getting through the section and being like, why did my shoulders hurt? Oh, 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 that's why. Oh. <laughs> So when you move when you're playing a game, right? Yeah, like, like that's right. gonna like what? What are you doing? Like, no, it helps like, you win. <laughs> sometimes I go like this. I'm like, I'm like trying to look over oh, the stuff. Totally like, you can't. That. It's a screen. Yeah, you're doing the thing, and you're also peeking. Is your <laughs> like that doesn't work? I, when I used to do uh, fighting games, like like right next to me i'd be like ah, ah, ah. and then anytime somebody made a comment about it, i'm like it's because it helps me win yeah <laughs> punch. not like yeah. hard punch but like that that arm punch yeah the um uh the smash brothers like games we used to play over at gina's house <laughs> and i'm just like they're like you have to push like two twice and then also this button over here and i'm like victory through chaos I don't know how to do these moves. I'm just hitting buttons. Forward, <laughs> forward, triangle. Still your nuclear <laughs> I'm glad we're still we're all in that club because I have, seriously, you know, yeah. People make fun of you like my kids, right? And I'm moving my controller around. They're like, you know, that doesn't <laughs> do anything, right? It's not like a <laughs> Wii remote. <laughs> Dude, it helps doesn't me. Matter. It helps my brain. <laughs> There was a there was a shirt I saw one time that had like a controller on it. It said "Victory Through Chaos." I was like, I want that shirt so badly. <laughs> oh, kids! Ah, uh, this is our <laughs> exercise, though, right? Like this is this is this is that's my yeah. excuse. <laughs> <laughs> our movie. It's good. It's a my watch time. recognizes it. It's like you yeah, reached your yeah. movement goal. I'm playing Sea of Thieves, pissed off as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the last time I ever reached my movement. <laughs> it's like when I was at the gym and they had Fox News on and some crazy was saying shit and I could see the subtitles and then but the chart behind God. him said something opposite and my heart rate shot up so high that like the incline went down on the <laughs> treadmill. I was like, Really? I could just sit on my couch and watch these assholes for cardio? <laughs> well Yeah. I can't even. I can't even think about watching that. I would just. I think it was Glenn Beck. So no, no. I had to listen to enough of him with my dad. No, I didn't turn it on. It was the gym. <laughs> I know. I just. Ugh. I have bad memories. That and Rush Limbaugh. Ugh. I would have quit that gym. <laughs> like this is what you put on. Oh, I just started. Um... Eventually, I got them to just give me the controller. I do that everywhere. I am that bitch. Like, <laughs> Karen is not happy at my dentist because I will go get the remote from behind the desk. <laughs> I'm fixing this if I have to sit here. <laughs> I wish my dentist had a TV. I wish mine remembered to turn it on. <laughs> mine have some not only in the waiting room, but in the room with you. Yeah. So when you're waiting oh, to get numb so nice. and this and that, and they tend to put on, although maybe that's just for me now, they put on HGTV and stuff. <laughs> well, mine usually does, like HGTV stuff, and I'm like, why is it? I I just went, and I'm like, why is the TV not on? I'm, I I just have to listen to everybody's little zzz, and I'm like, oh gosh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> they have like the radio on with like you know pop music or whatever. Like I take that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. And I stare at the tile basically and I pretend to count the, the dots and I try not to think about anything. You know? Yep. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, anyway. I think I freak out the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> They're really nice at my dentist. Like, I've been going there. It's the only dentist we've gone to since we came to town, except when they sent us away. Excellent. What my youngest. Uh, he's 18 now, but he's on the spectrum, and there's a lot of he cannot at the dentist. And they sent us to a pediatric dentist when he was, like, early, when he was a tween. Like, you're just going to have to, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, 
he's gonna need to get knocked out or something like try the pediatric dentist so we did have to take him somewhere else for a bit um and then that was bad because they gave him gas and do you know, do you know some people react the opposite to nitrous oh he was not happy he was angry yeah. <laughs> so then he got angry he was having a meltdown he got paranoid that the dentist was like lying to him he had this paranoia thing and he was never able to let go of it the bright side is his overcoming that was like i'll just go to the regular dentist <laughs> and dealing with that <laughs> oh it's a process but anyway so folks out there <laughs> let's just tangent <laughs> bring this around from our you know, real life and fictional horror for a minute. Please chime in by emailing us, please, please, <laughs> at geekgrills at gmail.com. And you can also tweet us at geekgrills. Uh, what are you all most anticipating right now? Linda, you're up. Uh, we're going to be having a friend's craft day coming up. It's something we haven't done in a, in a while. Um, we used to do it almost once a month uh yeah it was pretty we regularly would, before the pandemic. before the pandemic we just everybody would congregate at somebody's house we'd bring all craft projects and then we'd kind of do like a stitching bitch um <laughs> oh my god i'm so jealous me and my friends keep talking about this and not doing it <laughs> <laughs> but uh i have been promised that uh they have disney plus so and i know that they're up for that i did so <laughs> i'm just like all right we're I hope you don't mind, but um, I, I suggest we watch Encanto, and I suggest we <laughs> watch Inside Out, you know, all all the good... Do you know what you're stuff. making yet? I'm probably going to be working on uh, more stuff for the market day, because that's also coming up as another market day, and I, I think I have no more hedgehogs. I you sold out of all your critters basically except for two octopuses. Yeah, I only have two octopuses left. Um so I just I need to make something kind of like every day this week uh <laughs> in order to build my stock back up. So uh, I'm just going to be like crocheting like a mad woman. Um you know, I could have been making more things when I oh my back was you nope. know, healing, but um, I didn't feel like it, so I didn't. <laughs> That's right. You are healing. You take a break. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, eh, man, back injuries are no joke. I didn't even want to, like, read. I just wanted to lay there and be a lump. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, friend craft day. I get to do crafts and see friends. And then market day, where I can be outside, hopefully where it's not blazingly hot, and uh, sell things. <laughs> and get compliments, because that's, uh, I have to say, I do some of these craft days just because a lot of people just come up and they're like, oh my god, that's so great, it's so cute, and I'm like, thank you for stoking my ego. Um, <laughs> or a lot of like it's so nice to see that like people young people are doing crochet or knitting and I'm like yeah I Aww. made some dude's day like I made I made his day he was like my mother does this all the time I'm gonna tell her that there are people of the, the young generation that are doing this and I'm Cute. like Aw, thank you <laughs> how about you Ray uh, I've got family dinner with the in-laws tomorrow, which will be fun. And then my mom's 70th birthday is on Thursday, so we're going to see her on Saturday. I get to abduct my husband for this trip, so that will be fun. <laughs> uh, and then uh, we just got a PS4 uh, while everybody is trying to get a PS5 because we're we are very behind with consoles now. <laughs> So, um, hopefully, maybe we can do some game shopping. I have been told by multiple different people from multiple friend groups that I will love Persona 5. So, I'm excited to find that because I love tarot cards, I love dating sims, I love just, like, 
character building, and I have been informed that it has all of that in combat. And I'm like, okay, well, Ooh. this sounds very promising. <laughs> it does. And yeah, how about it should you, be Monica? Twenty bucks now. How much? <laughs> twenty <laughs> bucks. It should be twenty cool. bucks now. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be the bonus to being behind the the curve with the consoles for sure. <laughs> I'm really excited every time I get to see the cat, though. Like, <laughs> just walks back and forth, then back and forth. That's Morpheus. I could get him to show up. He was good enough. We had a kitty break in our aberrant game because we're all cat parents as well. Here we are. Oh, hi, hi, Morpheus. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, there's, oh, there's two. There's oh, Peter. The other one knew. The other one knew. <laughs> the Calico will not let me pick her up. Aww. All right, buddy. You want to get down or are you going to stay on my lap? Okay, now now we're here on the lap, so that's where we stay. We see more cats than our viewers. <laughs> I live viewers. here now. Just, <laughs> they're wondering why Linda's excited. We can see more yes. cats. <laughs> Yay, my cat. cats are in the background. <laughs> yeah. So about you, Monica? I haven't had you. I... Yeah, so... Uh, I like sleep and I miss sleep and I'd like to sleep sometime <laughs> soon. Uh, I've been so busy between work and everything. Um, just, you know, tired. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to. Uh, the other thing is it's, it's almost Halloween season and that's like my favorite season. Um, and the movie Halloween Kills is coming out, and I'm very excited about that. I really like horror movies. I don't know if I told you that before, <laughs> but I do. It's been like my my thing since I was a kid, and my you know my dream podcast was to make the. Oh, oh, okay. oh. Right. I think you ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the cat. Wow. No. That... That Kitties can't body. ruin anything. Okay, it's big. It's fine. It's fine. You can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Let one cat in, it all goes to hell. They gotta take it. Aww. <laughs> he just decided he wanted to bonk the camera. Bonk. <laughs> uh, gotta... Yeah, no, I'm super psyched. Halloween season, and there's just been now at a... really sightings at Duncan. <laughs> You're just now at a very jaunty angle. I am. Um, it's fine. I will... <laughs> Jaunty I Ray. Will say, I like Jaunty Ray. <laughs> Jaunty Ray. <laughs> I, I will say I, I, I embodied that meme. Like, I was sitting in oh, the car waiting for, like, food to come through the drive-thru, and a single golden leaf fell on my car, and I was like, <laughs> is this fall? <laughs> I did that just... <laughs> like, no! No! <laughs> I want We're to... getting there. Why are you both in... Yeah, I gotta Sorry. start posting the please help me soon. Um, anyone out there who's interested in Helping out and contributing with the Halloween Fairy Project. Uh, let me know if you want to start it in your town. Let me know. I can tell you, you know, how to get started and how to approach your local shelters to make sure kids get costumes. Because that's how I do. Uh, this week coming up, well, next weekend, so before the next show. Anyway, um, I'm going to a burlesque show. Mama D, who has a friend of the show, um, is having her last show. She's folding the company. She is moving on. She is now attending UNCC to finish her degrees and become a doctor. Ooh, so, awesome. Yeah, like a real treat people doctor, and it'll be good to have someone so amazingly inclusive uh, in that field, uh, as I'm sure we can understand as hysterical mm -hmm. women. But she's having mm -hmm. the last, uh, the troops last burlesque show Saturday, so we already bought our tickets, and I'm gonna be taking her a present because it's also like her birthday's coming. And after that, we'll go over to Digital Noir with DJ Spider, <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you guys are going to Dragon Con this year, but she will be doing some shows at Dragon Con. Anyone who is a fan of hers, check that out, and then hopefully. I can plan ahead and get all of my friend who, all my friends who like to bring stuff and eat together over to Red Buffalo on Sunday is my plan. And I want to take the leftover tiara kits from the shower and teach my girlfriends how to make tiaras and boyfriends, whoever <laughs> wants a tiara. 
We all need tiaras. <coughs> I, I also, uh, yeah, if you guys want me to send you kits, I'm going to take a count and see what I have left because I, I definitely bought more than were used, and they are a lot of fun. They're easy. The in, those are from Sarah Felix, uh, an award-winning person who writes and makes these amazing tiaras for special occasions. Should that be a show? We all just make tiaras on stream? <laughs> I thought it was a show because it was like tiaras and brunch and I'm like, oh, is that like that tiaras and toddlers delightful. thing? You know, I should yeah. ask. But like a better one? I should ask Sarah <laughs> if she wants to come on the show. And yeah. And, and just we while while we're that. talking, we'll all make tiaras while, while we're interviewing. I'm a mimosas. Sure. I'm a mimosas. <laughs> We'll drink. That sounds like a good drink. idea. That sounds like our next <laughs> drinking show. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, folks, you can always come watch us record live, whether we're making tiaras and drinking or not, at twitch.tv slash geekfrills on most Monday evenings. Like, just not the first one. Next one will be on August 29th at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And it's a book club episode. We're going to be discussing The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. And don't forget, in addition to the subs and bits we get on Twitch, we are supported by you, our amazing patrons. You're the greatest girlfriends on the internet. You can become a patron at www.patreon.com slash girls. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can sub to us for free every month on Twitch. Another way to show your support is by leaving us a review. You can do so on any of your podcast catchers. You can check out what topics we're going to do in the next month on our schedule below on our Twitch page. And if you're a patron, you can always suggest a topic for us. We will do it. We would love to hear your ideas. So where can we find all of you on the interwebs? Linda? You can find me on Instagram under the name madcap underscore misc. That's M-I-S-C. And you can check out my website at madcapm.com. Right. Uh, you can find me on Instagram under Dapple Dame. Monica. Oh God, I feel like I should tell people my Instagram name, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter and Twitch at Wicked Kitten Thirteen. And you can find all of my stuff at Nine of Twelve dot com. That's N I N E O F one two dot com. Thanks for listening, everyone, and good game. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this podcast. <laughs> and once again, am I supposed to have... do like an FT? <laughs> you know, we've got this like I play a bumper that isn't working for you guys, but it's the Diamond Club bumper mm -hmm. because I'm I became part of that stream team when we had it. I still want the Frog Pants one. I want to be part of the damn network. <laughs> <laughs> But we oh, did get Scott the diamond club that. one, so we throw the sign. <laughs> <laughs> Theo came in yeah. and subscribed, by the way, Grills. Hey. I saw Theo. <laughs> Theo with the kitty? Yes. Aww. Theo with the kitty. Who, Theo's people, doing a show with Sean cats. White right yes. now. <laughs> <coughs> Theo came on uh, Part-Time Gamers with me and Sean. Ooh.